multiple facets to it. The, the first one is that what is the timeline of implementing a central uh, CBDC? Um, they could take years, uh, potentially. We, we do not know when they will be implemented. Uh, secondly, I don't see them as a either or in terms of the existing, say, public uh, crypto assets that you have available now. Uh, I could easily see Bitcoin and any central bank uh, digital currency coexist. I don't see one why one should outrule the other. Um, if anything, I think the use of the underlying technology that is used for the rest of the crypto asset space is something that would really be creating an appetite for actually uh, investing in Bitcoin and other, other assets that's already here. And Ulrich, just give us some thoughts on um, how structurally this market will change now that the Chinese authorities are cracking down on the miners. On the, on the short to medium term, uh, it's, it's of course a little bit uh, volatile because what would it mean to uh, essentially the hash power? This is the biggest uh, aspect of this change. Uh, so where will the, the mining power uh, of the Bitcoin uh, network go to? We're currently seeing a, a slight drop in, in the hashing uh, on the network, but undoubtedly, uh, since it's still very profitable to be mining Bitcoin, you would just see a shift in where this uh, computational power is uh, located and where it would go uh, uh, doesn't really matter. The, the, the important point here is really that it will actually um, do good for the decentralization of Bitcoin because it would be less dependent on China, it would be less dependent on one single location and being more spread out in the world.